Now, last week we talked about reading trend continuations. So let's define what the opposite of that is, right? The other, the other side of that play, which is rather than a trend continuation, a trend reversal. So kind of moving it in a full cycle. And the simple version of this, um, I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of experimented with a different, couple different ways of doing this, but I'm gonna try this whiteboard really quick here. I think I'll like this better for the most part, but let's, let's, we have, you know, two, we have really three phases. Um, so you have trend, right? Trend, let's say it gets really extended, reversal, and reversal, right? This right here, this is what we call the expansion. And when it starts to speed up, traction. And then even further down, once, once this second, once this, let's say contraction right here, we try to make this move higher and redo the whole expansion, extension, contraction situation, right? We try to make this, but it fails, right? It fails and it breaks that low. And then what we have is, really there's, there's two different phases, but for me, if there is something like this, let, let's start to bring all these other scenarios into, into the case. If we fail this low right here and we start to trend lower, on some kind of news. Let's say that this event is like earnings, earnings release. And this earnings release that comes out tanks the stock. You guys are writing stuff. I can't really see what you're writing. Let me try to shrink this down here so I can see. Okay, yeah. So we have extension or expansion, extension, contraction. And then let's say we have some kind of news event, which brings on, it can bring on two different phases, right? Usually after earnings or some kind of news event, instead of going expansion, extension, contraction, ex expansion, extension, and right, and moving in that cycle, it's going to kind of move in a different cycle where you're going to be in an extension phase at first, all right? Usually what you see is this scenario. Now, if the stock is going to extend to the downside, contract, and then expand further down, for large caps, there has to be a fundamental change in the company for this to happen, in my opinion. And with the recent situation, like Amazon, this let's just say like this is Amazon, right? We're just gonna kind of label this Amazon. Well, that's a terrible N. Boop, much better. So Amazon, expansion, extension, contraction, earnings comes out crushes, gets crushed on earnings, extends to the downside. And then we come in here. And I've talked about this setup before. This is the reversal. On SPRT, all I did <clears throat> was very simple. When it topped out right here and then failed the midpoint right there, my average was the midpoint. So when it lost the midpoint, I shorted this little pop right here. It washed down to 35. But what I did is instead of um, uh, shorting the stock, which I would not tell anyone to do, okay? If you cannot trade the open, you should not be trading stock on the short side. You still can trade short opportunities 
but you're you're gonna need to trade them. Do, do not trade them at. You got to trade them before ten thirty. So you got to find the moment to take the trade. Okay. And what you're gonna do is you're going to do it using spreads. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So if we take SPRT for example, SPRT. Here's the expiration. Go the closest expiration that you can. And then you're going to go out of the money, all right? So when I look at SPRT, y'all just tell me some prices right now. Where do you think SPRT is not going to go? 90% chance it's not going to go in the next 10 days. Up. If I'm short biased, where do I think the 90% chance it is not going to touch this to the upside? 60, okay. Anybody else? So it's trading in theory right now. It closed at 26, 50, 61. <laughs> uh, so yeah, okay, 50. If this is the day that you saw right here, it's gapping up to the 36s. You think that when it's gapping up to the 36s, it's not gonna touch 50? In my opinion, that would be a pretty easy thing to do. It would be pretty easy for this stock that's went from 20 to 60 in one single day to go from 36 to 50. That'd be pretty simple, right? Because that's still within this range, isn't it? This candle, it would have to touch. I mean, it would need to go to 60 before it breaks out, right? It'd be pretty hard to touch 60 and above, in my opinion. So when I look at this and I go, okay, there's very little chance it's going to go up there. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to change this to vertical. Uh, and it never does this right. I don't even know. I don't know how to change this. I have to do this all by hand. Oh, yeah, I have to go deep and wide. That's what she said. There you go. All right, so... <clears throat> When I look at puts or calls, I'm sorry. When I look at the calls, I don't think it's going to go over 60, right? So I'm going to look at this. I'm going to go, all right, where's my open interest? So I'm looking at the 60, 80 calls. All right. Let me explain this really fast. The first leg. Okay. These are called legs. This is a leg and this is a leg and that's your PP, right? If you're a man or you're, the, you're a VJJ if you're a woman right? I'm not being sexual. I'm being medical, right? That's your penis. That's your vagina. That, that's, that's not sexual. That's medical. Don't, I don't want anybody coming in here. Ah, human resources, human resources. That's medical, folks. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.